Hi, I'm Sib and I'm an autistic filmmaker. I've just arrived in Unneaton to meet up with someone I haven't seen since the pandemic. Friendships are an important part of our lives, whether you're autistic or not. Friends are people we can hang out with, share things in common with and turn to when you need someone to talk to. For too long, this hasn't been the case for people like me who have lost friends due to misunderstandings caused by how we communicate. I'm making this film so I can educate people on what current experiences are like when making friends. I have just arrived at George Elliott Park. It's nice to see you again, Abby. How's things? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're going well, yeah. Mm. Well, that's cool. Can you tell me a little about yourself? So I'm a writer from Warwickshire. I graduated from the University of South Wales in Cardiff in 2017 and have been writing scripts and novels ever since. That sounds pretty cool, thank you. In your experience, what is it like to make friends as somebody with autism? Um, it depends on who I'm interacting with, to be honest, because uh, it differs on how they are with me. And quite a lot of it, it feels like um, social cues are quite difficult to pick up. I feel like we all have a social cues manual um, and it feels like the vast majority of the pages are glued together. So not all of it makes sense. Quite a lot of it, you have to just fudge it. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you know, it's just a learning curve and it just gets a little bit better with a little bit more practice. That is so true. I can relate to this in many areas because I have the same kind of stuff to deal with as well. And that's interesting. Can you tell me what is it that you want people to understand when they relate to you or make friends with you as someone with autism? That we're not all the same. We may be under the umbrella, but we're not the same because it's not a straight line of the uh, autistic spectrum of, oh, this person's got this, so they're here or here or here. It's more like a circle with lots of different categories that each person has a different level in each of the categories to make up who they are. And so it's just having acceptance of who we are in that and having that acceptance ourselves to just be free to who, about who we are. Abby, thank you so much for spit chatting to me. From what I've discovered, it's clear that we still have some way to go to combat stereotypes about how autistic people relate to other people, as each person is different, and I really want people to understand this so things improve here. 